So this is kind of a random intro. Uh, one, I wanted to say welcome back to Fallout 4. We just, uh, in the last video, I had to get to that workbench and try to figure out how to build this. Uh, I decided since it was a long, drawn-out process, it took me about a couple hours to get this thing built. Because you have to have the right amount of materials for just about everything. And I uh, finally got this working. Uh, if you're not familiar with what we're doing, we're on this mission right here. And we had to basically go and search. We had to build a beam emitter, relay dish, console. Uh, basically the whole entire platform. So, did all that so you guys didn't have to see it. So we can actually continue the main story. So, Everything looks good thank you so much for all your support, by the way. Let's get to it. Works. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. They do make you kind of work for it, though. It took Just me the longest the time. I'll do the rest. The absolute longest time to find a military grade circuit board, which I, I had a couple in the beginning of this game, but I got rid of them, so I was so pissed. Alright, here we go. I guess he's doing something? I can't really tell. I can't move right now, so. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, this, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. Nice. Didn't think we'd ever complete that mission. That was one of the longest ones in the game so far. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this opportunity to uh, uh, see what we can upgrade, shall we? Level 15. We got a long way to go. Let's see what else we got. Digestive tract has a weirdness. Take less radiation from eating or drinking. Lead belly. I like the name of that. Not attack. Okay, attacks with non-automatic rifles do 20% more damage. I've been using the hunting rifle, so I bet that will make it amazing. Uh, I'm actually going to increase some of the main stuff to 10. Uh, mainly strength and, I guess, endurance. Perception, not so much. Although it does help with the accuracy. Uh, that's pretty good for dialogue, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. I don't know, I kind of feel like... Intelligence, your overall mental affects the number of experience points earned. You can gain one point. You know what? I bet this right here helps you level up insanely fast. Let me do that one. Can't imagine it's much more different, but why not, you know? This is pretty badass. This is it's one of the hardest missions to start in the game, and I was like... I knew eventually I'd have to be building stuff. That's it? Nothing? Hang on, it's telling me to access this, but when I clicked on anything, it's just not... I can't hit up or down or anything. Let's wait really quick. Let's see if we can look around here first. Two folders, Hello. no thank you. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Really? 
institutionalized enter the elevator so it's telling me to access this terminal but you can't I'm gonna look around back here just so I don't miss anything I guess it's good that all my stuff got transferred with me combination wrench no thank you the way you construct stuff though is kind of cool it took me forever to connect all the wires so maybe I'll do a video where I build like a house or something Okay, now we gotta go up here and activate it. It's probably a new setting now. Let's see. Alright, so we're supposed to insert the network. Let's see, load the holotape network scanner. Here we go. Should be good, right? Alright, let's see if that makes the elevator useful. Elevator access denied. Okay. That's kind of weird. Why did this door just open? Hang on. This doesn't make any sense. Because it said we're supposed to... Go talk to him. Let me just see something. In institutionalized is that mission. Uh, give holotape to Sturges. Problem is getting back there is kind of like, what? Let's see what happens if you just enter the elevator and just stand here. Oh. A little nervous about I this. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Oh, wow. I'm taking everything. I don't care. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's... it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who father? is Father? Father, help me! Where is he? He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. 
We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have, yes. I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg? He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? 
Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Dear father, he never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was, I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But... Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. <laughs>